How you pronounce your name? Malay. Malay. Yes. Malay. Malay. Yes. Difficult to Okay. Tell me uh, few good qualities of a teacher. Sir, so teacher is uh, not just someone who gives curriculum based content. A teacher is a counselor. A teacher is a mentor. A teacher is a guardian. So uh, while he is a single person, he plays multiple role in someone's life. So I, I feel a teacher is more than a parent at times. Uh, more than a uh, guide at times and a uh, sum total of uh, whatever we need at some point of time. That to define teacher, I am asking the good qualities of a teacher. A uh, good quality of a teacher is he who un he or she who understands what, what exactly is going in the child's mind, what exactly is needed so as to uh, better his or her prospects. Okay, best from waste, anything done? Yes sir, uh, uh, I actually I have which done Which you are proud of? Yes sir. Actually, while I was working in PepsiCo, so uh, we were given a project of uh, biomethanation. So biomethanation, basically PepsiCo deals a lot in uh, potato chips and all. So the waste from potato peels were used, was utilized to generate biomethane plant, which in turn was used to produce electricity. And the waste from electricity, that is exhaust gas, was used for chilling purposes in the plant. So basically, we utilize waste over there. Secondly, I have once I have, I have done a project in college as well in this domain that was regarding the bottle, water bottle we have and other bottles which are made of HDP. So we basically melted that HDP to convert it into a beam. So these two projects are that uh, that your waste thing, uh, methane plant is still being used or it's yes, sir. stopped? No, sir. It's it's being used. It's being used. Yes, sir. But enough waste is available all around? Yes sir, actually potato waste like uh, PepsiCo, the plant that I was uh, there, Channu plant that is in Punjab. So it is it is the like uh, biggest uh, manufacturing plant for this uh, Lay's Uncle Chips and all. So waste generated was huge. In fact, I think the plant was like, uh, like the need was more than a plant, like two, three plants. Okay. Yesterday some uh, bridge has been inaugurated in your place in Bihar. Read about it? Sir, it was regarding a bridge on Ganga, as far as I know, some, somewhere in Ganga River, on Ganga River. Mm -hmm. uh, exact location, I am unable to recall. Patna to Hajipur or something on that way? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, what is uh, special about that? Sir, it's, it basically connects the two part of Bihar, like North Bihar, Mithlanchal, basically Mithlanchal part and uh, the South Bihar that is Patna part, largely the Ganga river basically bifurcates Bihar into two. So it, it creates kind of cultural divide uh, which also gets evident in the form. Tell me something special, what is special about that bridge? Uh, sorry sir, I am sorry. And Nitin Gadgari has been in the news also, uh, this is first time in India. Sir, I will read about it sir. It's a, it's a new bridge or it's a retrofitting type of thing? Retrofitting kind of thing. Yes. It's the yes. biggest, longest steel bridge in the country, 5.6 kilometers. Yes, hmm? Mahatma Gandhi Setu. Mahatma Gandhi Setu. Yes, sir. You have travelled on that? Yes, sir. Okay. How far is from your place from there? Uh, it's 200 kilometers. 200 kilometers. Yes, sir. My place okay. is in northern most, almost northern most part of Bihar, like Nepal border. Yeah. It connects Champaran also? This bridge. Uh, this bridge? The, yes, sir. We can go to Champaran from this bridge. From this bridge. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, assisted natural regeneration. You heard of this term? Uh, kind of, yes, sir. I am I, aware of this term. Hmm. What is this term? So basically, in this process, uh, regeneration is carried out on it, itself, but we kind of supplement the process through multiple ways, like maybe augmenting the uh, requirement, like like maybe from seeding purpose or other type of requirements. Only that much. Not taking out the weeds. Yes, sir, definitely. Protecting that, that, the area from yes, biotic interference. Thinning and all everything that requires that regeneration to sustain and eventually to so flourish. That's what I'm asking. What all yes. is required in this assisted natural regeneration? So basically, the entire thinning purpose, weeding, pruning, tending operation, everything done uh, time and again, uh, preventing from biotic interference, a biotic interference. Oh, okay, okay, <clears throat> okay. You heard of this uh, VPN? Yes, a virtual eh? private network. Ah. Yes, sir. Some big company has uh, withdrawn from the country? Yes, sir. Two, two three big companies have already withdrawn. Uh, what, which is that big company? 
sir express yes sir uh, today today so how how uh, uh, this uh, user base is affected so basically the, uh, they are saying in the new regulation brought in by certain another uh, indian government basically hurts them and their free uh, internet uh, commitment so basically they think they, they, that's against their ethos so uh, it it will impact their business as well but uh, in la- large terms like we have our legitimate reason for doing that and i think that's for internal security cyber security purposes and but but they say that users are not affected they can work on other servers servers in other countries yes sir so servers are basically diffused kind mm. of uh, entire world mm. so uh, like if they switch off their servers from india and shift it to somewhere else it's uk global. and uh, uk and singapore or somewhere yes, okay. see this uh, turkey mm-hmm. turkey we say eh? mm-hmm. it has changed its name turkey or something so whether the country can change the name any so any regulations are there about the country changing the name country changing name of itself ha ah, yes uh, like maybe uh, they, they might have to intimate uh, un and other organizations in advance hmm. but definitely the countries can change change their names so they do they need any approval approval as such uh, maybe uh, like prior intimation to un and uh, maybe to other regulatory bodies in which they are part of those bodies but okay so no approval is required only intimation is required as far as i know yes sir, uh, because already uh, myanmar changed its name from burma to myanmar so many countries have done that in past no but i am asking the process yes i know many countries have done sri yes. lanka has done so many have done yes sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as, I'll read about it, but as yes. far as I know. Okay, changing the name of a state in our country. So, a state or a district can also change its name. However, the name change of state largely falls in the domain of central government, like uh, mm. under Article uh, five, six, uh, two, three. Basically, it deals with state. So, uh, central government has already changed the name of United UP Uttar Pradesh became uh, United. So, central Pradesh. government approval is required. Yes, sir. Similarly, changing the name of district also. as far as district is concerned like uh, punjab recently changed uh, created a district or and w- many places like uh, uttar pradesh changed its name so basically the scene is if uh, like railway stations names are to be changed or somewhere else then that prior approval have to be taken from gsi and other uh, railway authorities and other bodies however changing only the name of district won't require any central approval all right uh, mr sagar yes um, let's continue with the, the topic of teaching Sir. both your parents are also teachers yes, now the uh, national education policy 2020 yes, had come out with a term called shuffle what is that sir basically uh, uh, shuffle is basically somewhere uh, someone shifting from this place to that, like exchange kind of exchange program no no it's a structural assessment for analyzing learning okay so an acronym that's for that the important thing about this particular uh, uh, policy F- framework was that yes, the word examination is rarely used and yes, the sir. word used is assessment yes, sir. Yes, sir. so is this only the word play or there is any weight to it so basically uh, this thing assessment uh, i think this is not something that is a uh, new to this like we had earlier cc continuous and comprehensive evaluation which was not just focusing on examination thing it was continuous and comprehensive in the sense we had curricular and extra curricular activities involved in it so this assessment is i think an extension of that particular thing where uh, all around the development of child concerned is uh, is is in what is the difference assessment and examination sir examination happens uh, just in like uh, maybe a semester wise or maybe a year wise while the assessment is uh, and the examination is largely related to curricular activity academic activity whether that performance is whatsoever related to academic domain assessment is regarding the all, all through assessment maybe curricular extra curricular and what exactly he is lacking and how the way he or she can be improved so this this becomes uh, like holistic in that sense so it is more of holistic uh, understanding of education yes. is it Mm-hmm. and the word fail is also not used yes sir. why so fail creates a psychology where like a failure like uh, for a child to of for a child of like 8 14 years like till 14 year like maybe smaller kid also 
it it creates a very psychological impact and fail is like nobody uh, like a, if i may say so uh, academic failure is not a failure as such it's just ki someone uh, need some more improvement it's not the failure of the child the failure yes. of the system system that Definitely. would be the appropriate way yes sir and moreover it it is not a failure in that sense also because it can it is something that can be cured so it's not a complete failure that that cannot be diagnosed there is a view that uh, we need to have more non evaluate evaluation space yes, what is your view on this so uh, i think evaluation should go like more non evaluation means uh, there, there should be uh, an open system where someone can come read study and do whatever he wants he or she wants and then go back to whatever domain he or she wants without any evaluation of that so i'm not saying we can have completely i'm saying there should yes. be more of that space more of that space is welcome but the problem is implementation thing like how to assess whether that person uh, has gained information like he, if someone has enrolled in a course and if someone has not been through uh, evaluation of any kind then how to assess whether that man has a skill gained skill or knowledge regarding it so that becomes a problem however there should be definitely be more uh, non assessment kind of thing but it should be in a way that uh, knowledge somewhere can be uh, like continuously evaluated at the higher level yes sir since you are also an engineer at the higher level should be focus more on applied research or fundamental research so i think as we should be uh, mixing both like uh, applied research comes from fundamental research so if we don't do fundamental research as such applied research won't be of much use but definitely india currently lacks up, like lacks a lot in applied research in fact uh, being someone from iit i can uh, like i have seen uh, like there needs to be a thrust more thrust on applied research so uh, basically but there is no fundamental research is also happening yes sir basically uh, fundamental research is something like uh, that that is being done everywhere so we can get that knowledge like for example if i may quote uh, cern so there are multiple research going in cern or isro or nasa the problem is from that research uh, we can drive many things however the iit ecosystem or the nit ecosystem or higher research currently uh, hasn't produced that much that it should have been or that is expected from them so maybe we currently lack more in applied research however both are required i think more applied in terms of what is needed for the corporates not exactly i will say because social aspect is also there all right now you last question here you are in pepsico you had done some intern there yes. now pepsico is one of the largest uh, plastic polluter have they done anything in the recent time to reduce plastic yes sir definitely Pl- plastic uh, uh, what they are doing like for example in india uh, i can say uh, two of two places one is germany and one is in india so in india they, they are like pioneer in epr thing like they are trying to focus on this uh, epr responsibility thing S- uh, secondly in germany what they are doing is they they are trying to convert this plastic thing into something of a m- more important kind like uh, like uh, creating something uh, like economic value from it maybe of the form of shoes like currently uh, some shoes are also manufactured using that plastic now since you're plastic. also into for- sorry to interrupt since you're also forestry yes uh, have they learned something from the tree and reduce the amount of plastic which is used in bottles seaweeds I, as far as i remember mm. some some we'll discuss that later thank you thanks okay malay yes, you're from bihar yes sir how many district in bihar 38 as well as which one is the uh, largest district area wise and the smallest area wise uh, area wise uh, largest district is gaya as far as i remember and smallest is shivhar as far as i know Okay, uh, tell me something about your own district, Saharsa. Sir, Saharsa is a district which is situated on the bank of river Kosi. Secondly, Saharsa is famous because of uh, two cultural regions. One, it is the hub of uh, Vajrayan Buddhism. Ma Goddess Tara has a very uh, Shakti Peet, like 50, among 52 Shakti Peets, one is of Goddess, Goddess Tara. Secondly, it is famous as land of Mandan Mish, the famous Mandan Mish who had a Shastra with Shankaracharya. Thirdly, it is currently famous for fox nut cultivation. Makhana cultivation is also a major economy. Okay, why your CM is so much insisting upon the caste survey? Yes, sir. So uh, there is there are certain dimensions for it because Bihar, as such, has been a very caste-ridden society, and without a proper assessment of how how many like number of uh, people in particular caste, especially the downtroddens, 
the policy making has not been that much good. For example, as far as uh, certain data are concerned, if I may say so, like uh, 10 uh, castes have uh, like uh, taken 25% of reservation benefits across India, I am saying. So, uh, more so in Bihar. So, actually this caste census that he, uh, he is trying to focus will uh, deal with these challenges like maybe… Which is census or a survey? It's a survey because census cannot be… Because CM has not used the word census. Yes, sir, it's a survey. But uh, eventually it is like a kind of uh, guessing how many people belong from which caste. So, maybe uh, distributing the benefits… So, you are recommending that he should… Uh, I mean, uh, Bihar should go in for uh, ca this survey? Yes, sir. In then why areas. government of India is not very keen and other states are not also emulating all these things, if it is so good? Sir, good is one aspect, but second aspect is whether the, it is feasible to do so. Because when in 1931, last time there was caste census, the, there were multiple challenges. Like for example, there are uh, the name of certain caste, it, it does not become evident which uh, pe like which category people belong from which caste for example surname thing there are multiple uh, like similar surnames in multiple castes so it becomes very difficult to assess which caste should be attributed to whom why you want to join indian forest service so there are two three reasons for that firstly indian forest service will help me in ameliorate like uh, somewhat synchronizing my interest like for example i i have like my interest in waste uh, contributing something in waste creating best from waste and then contributing in nature and sustainability aspect and secondly it has a very decent career opportunity since it is an all India service and thirdly it will give me ample opportunities to use my knowledge of mechanical engineering. But suppose you get your own cadre, yes, Bihar sir. cadre, yes, sir. what is the percentage of forest raised in the, in the Bihar? So percentage of forest is currently 7.7% .7 with a 2% additional tree cover. And what is the vision of the CM? So vision is obviously to increase it to one third. However, no, vision, uh, State vision is different. Yes, sir. You are talking about the forest policy that is 33%. Yes, sir. But from 7, state way you cannot go to 33%. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they, they have already recommended. Yes, sir. Some, uh, I want that. I don't uh, recall the exact data. I am unable to recall it. But uh, yes, they have. Have you heard the term agriculture roadmap in Bihar? Uh, no, Every sir. year they make it. Yes, sir. They make it, but I am not aware of the specifics of it. There is Jal, Jal Jeevan Haryali Haryali mission. mission. Yes, Tell sir. me something about it. Sir, that mission is regarding uh, ag promoting agroforestry and other su such aspects so as to create an ecosystem where forestry thrives in Bihar. A forestation work is done with the help of agricultural uh, prospects so as to have a very What are the seven niche of CM? Uh, I don't re remember the exact. At least one. Th this uh, greening thing is one such. What are the main species of Bihar? Tree species. Tree species. Mm. Uh, Sal is there, Shisham is there, then uh, Mohua is there, mm. then uh, uh, man mango obviously. Recently, one. ethanol plant has been has, has been started there, with, with district, uh, 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 using uh, the grains, not sugar cane. Sorry, sir, animal today. No idea. Why the, so many sugar uh, so many sugar factories are closed? Sir, it is largely because of certain uh, problems. Like for example, Bihar has ceased to be the main sugarcane growing area. Secondly, cooperatives uh, who were working in that direction have incurred a very large losses so, through hmm. loans, large number of loans. So government time and again has tried to revive that uh, sugarcane industry. However, it has failed to do so. Have you heard about the dynamic revenue map no, recently sir. developed by your? Uh, one one of the very bright uh, principal secretary Sorry, revenue sir, no know. idea no, my last question is yes. uh, what was the old name of bihar uh, sorry patna partly putra where from this name came partly putra basically partly trees uh, somewhere so basically. they are available in patna have you Currently. seen that no sir okay thank you sir. okay thank all right so you are from bihar yes sir now can you tell, uh, let's say you have given the charge of uh, promoting afforestation in south bihar so, what kind of species will you choose and why? So, South Bihar basically uh, land of like hills are somewhere, hills are there and then uh, it is not that uh, popula having that population density. However, the problem is of South Bihar is water, like water availability is uh, somewhat less. So, we can go for species like Prosopis Julifora and uh, Sal Shisham obviously anywhere in Bihar and Mauva. So, these are some of the trees which can be planted there. Okay, all right. Yes. Uh, how do you evaluate the prohibition policy of Bihar? 
सर प्रोहिबिशन पॉलिसी ऑफ बिहार वॉज डन सो एज टू लाइक डील विद लॉ एंड ऑर्डर प्रॉब्लम एंड द इकोनॉमिक लॉसेज दैट अकर ड्यू टू वाइन ड्रिंक अल्कोहल ड्रिंकिंग सो द पॉलिसी वॉज वेरी गुड इन द सेंस दैट इट प्रमोटेड आर्टिकल फोर्टी सेवन द नीड ऑफ आर्टिकल फोर्टी सेवन हाउ एवर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन हैव बिन समवट लैगिंग लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल हुज ट्रेजडी टाइम एंड अगेन वी कम टू हियर सो इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इज वन चैलेंज हाउ एवर द गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन अनफ स्टेप्स एंड टाइमली स्टेप्स सो आई थिंक इन सम टाइम लाइक दे विल बी हैविंग अ वेरी सम एमेंडमेंट वॉज डन टू दोहिबिशन यस सर लाइक वन टाइम ऑफेंडिंग लाइक अर्लियर वन टाइम ऑफेंडिंग है वेरी सीवियर पीनल प्रोविजन सो दीज प्रोविजन बीन डायल्यूटेड ओके वुड यू रिकमेंडेड फॉर सम अदर स्टेट्स ऑल्सो Sir, it depends on the uh, people of the, uh, those states whether they are willing to accept. For example, in Bihar, acceptance was good since women of Bihar were very uh, enthusiastic about this policy. So it depends whether people in other state, for example, uh, maybe in tribal areas, these these cannot be implemented. For example, they have a very uh, thriving culture of uh, alcohol. So uh, for cultural regions, maybe other states may not go for it. Okay, you are also interested in uh, best to waste. Yes, sir. so it is like waste is something that has lost value to its owner so creating something new something economic and ecological uh, ecologically productive out of it is creating waste. any any difference between upcycling and recycling so upcycling uh, as far as i can understand is basically uh, utilizing in a way uh, so as to like not that uh, like uh, recycling different from recycling in the sense ki Recycling is simply utilizing it. Reusing. Just check it when you go home. All right. Yes. What is waste to energy? So waste to energy is basically uh, utilizing those waste through incineration or pyrolysis or other ways so as to generate electricity out of it. Uh, how can waste to energy be used by the municipal corporations? And do you think it is being sufficiently used? Sir, currently, uh, waste to energy can be used in multiple ways. For example, incineration, direct incineration, which can run power power plant. secondly biomethanation is one such example and thirdly gasification through pyrolysis however have, the uh, d- data says that india has a potential of at least 6 gigawatt from waste energy currently 66 megawatt is only being produced and plants are only at selected for example in delhi and other three locations only in country so currently that is underutilized okay yes. uh, you have read from uh, buddha public school yes right and you are from land of gautam buddha yes, so you must be l- knowing little bit about buddhist philosophy yes sir yeah so tell me how can buddhist philosophy be used for environmental protection so i think buddhist philosophy is brilliant uh, way to go for environmental protection for example the idea of uh, middle path madhya marga so basically currently the sustainability fo- focuses on that aspect only go for middle path don't exploit it too much and don't leave uh, sole focus on conservation secondly the aspect of doing no harm to no living being so basically uh, abjuring from non violence uh, or abjuring from violence so basically this can be of help for wildlife similar other philosophies can be of use okay thank you thanks